and girls and welcome to a new lesson on module 8 amazing animals so please get your textbook ready and we look at page 81 and 82 before that siapa yang belum tengok uh, video yang sebelum ni right? if you haven't watched the previous video the last video for module 7 helping out please do check this video out uh, kalau belum tonton video ni tolong tonton video ni yes right please do watch that video link above here so before we get to our module i just want to say pupils from for gemilang for unggul and for optimist welcome to my channel so right now let's look at our module so today we'll do two different pages tapi jangan risau activity-activity ya semua senang je so all the activities are going to be simple and straightforward so as we know amazing animals so we will learn about animals how to describe animals how to talk about animals every single thing about animals oh my god wow tell me what is the name of this animal so it's a mammal and it can lay eggs what's this animal please let me know in the comment section below so let's look at the first one how much do you know about animals do this quiz and find out page 81 animal expert or not so are you an animal expert or not gorilla gorilla Snail, snail, panda, panda, rhino, rhino, heavy, heavy, gorilla, gorilla, snail. Snail, panda, panda, rhino, rhino, heavy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different questions here for this quiz. Let's look at number one. Which is bigger, a gorilla or a monkey? So which one? Yeah, Tanya. Yeah, mana lagi besar? Yes, right. Now let's look at number two. Which elephant has got smaller ears, the African elephant or? The Asian elephant. Number three, which camel has got more humps? Unta mana yang ada lebih banyak bonggol? Is it the Arabian or the Bactrian? Four, which is heavier? The panda or the polar bear? Five, which is faster? A tortoise or a snail? And number six, the last one, which is stronger? A rhino or a hippo? Ah, so just now, saya dah masukkan gambar sikit. So I've inserted some pictures to let you see and compare which animal is bigger, which animal is faster, which animal is stronger, which elephant has smaller ears. So let's get back to that. So for number one, your answer is a gorilla. Yes, a gorilla is bigger than a monkey. Let's look at number two right now. So your answer is the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant has got smaller ears. Number three, the answer is the Bactrian camel. The Bactrian camel has got more harms. Right now, number four, which is heavier? Of course, the polar bear is heavier. Number five, which is faster? A tortoise is faster than a snail. And let's look at number six, which is stronger? Definitely, a rhino is stronger than a hippo. Number Actually, tak apa susah kan? Alright, so we are exploring. We are looking at animals. 
Right now, if you have your textbook, please look at page 81. Look somewhere at the bottom. Two, talk to your friend. Which is bigger, a gorilla or a monkey? A gorilla is bigger than a monkey. So here it says elephants are bigger than rhinos. Okay, so it's trying to compare two different animals. So in grammar, we call these comparative adjectives. Okay, so we compare two things. Uh, kita buat perbandingan, kita bandingkan dua benda yang berbeza Ok, so tadi kita gunakan bigger than Bigger than or bigger comes from big Big tu satu je, kita cerita satu benda je right. The elephant is big Or elephants are big Tapi kalau kita nak bandingkan gajah dengan badak sumbu uh, Kita cakap elephants are bigger than rhinos And then we have strong, stronger, big, bigger Heavy, heavier. Tapi yang ni kita akan tengok nanti. Right? In the next activity about Greg's favorite dinosaur, Anna's favorite dinosaur, kita akan tengok dengan lebih jelas. Now, let's look at the second page. Refer to page 82. Read the dialogues and color the correct characters. Who says the dialogue? Who says? Siapa yang cakap? Okay. So, this is the one that's about... Greg's favorite dinosaur and Anna's favorite dinosaur. It's going to be a reading activity, but we'll not get so in-depth or we'll not do it in a more complicated way. So we will do something simple and direct. You just read the dialogue for each question. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six different questions. It's either Anna or Greg for the answer. Jawapannya sama dia. Awak warnakan Anna ataupun Greg. But in order for you to do that, let's just watch this. 1. What is Greg's book about? Listen and read. The children are in Anna's garden. Greg is reading his new dinosaur book. My favourite dinosaur is Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is really scary. What's your favourite? Mine is Uteraptor. It was more dangerous than T-Rex. Yeah, but T-Rex had a big brain. It was very intelligent. T-Rex had a big brain, but Chorodon was more intelligent. Um, Greg, I found something. Come here. It looks like a dinosaur tooth. Let's look in my book. It's a uteraptor tooth. No, it isn't. What is it then? It's not a dinosaur tooth. It's from this flower pot. So, you've watched the video. Good job, everyone. Okay, so the goal here is to recognize who says this. Who says that? It's actually very simple, okay? Sangat senang. Awak just tengok balik. Siapa yang cakap? Uh, kalau tak tahu macam mana tengok, tengok muka lah. Is it Greg? Is it Anna? Okay, let's try number one. My favorite dinosaur is Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is really scary. Who says that? Uh, okay, let's check. If you have a textbook, your answer is Anna for number one. Now let's try number two. Mine is Uteraptor. It was more dangerous than T-Rex. Hmm, Uteraptor. So if you can see picture number two, so, your answer is Greg. Color that. Now, let's jump to number four. It looks like a dinosaur tooth. Let's look in my book. All right, let's check. Hmm, 
Everyone, let's look at picture four. Okay, so your answer for number four is drag. Number four, drag. Last one, let's try number six. It's not a dinosaur tooth, it's from flower pot. Okay, so let's look at the last picture. That's picture six. So we know the answer for number six is Anna. Okay, so right now, I hope all of you can do this activity and also the previous activity. Plus, is the first part of this module. So why is that? Well, we don't want the kids to be stressed out and we want everyone to enjoy because it's an interesting topic. Oh no! Did you hear that? So, that's pretty much for today's lesson and I hope all of you can learn a lot from this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content on Module 8 Amazing Animals, don't forget to hit subscribe. So hit subscribe and hit the bell ataupun loceng tu, tekan yang tu each time I upload a new video, you receive a notification from me. And also, don't forget to leave a comment below. Yes, you can also leave a comment below. So you can say hi, you can ask me questions. Okay guys, so that's it. Don't forget to stay at home and stay safe. And we'll see each other again in the next video. Goodbye.